Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got issue number 39 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Pathworks and we're going to be stitching around the Mrs. Rabbit applique square. With issue number 39, we'll be receiving the first of our templates for the large central applique in the middle of our quilt. We've got template number one and template number two, but we're going to stash that away until we begin our central piece. Issue number 39 also comes with two skeins of embroidery thread. I'm not going to be using those. Like with my other applique squares, I'm going to be stitching around all of my pieces using the sewing machine. I'm then going to be drawing in and adding in the finer details with fabric paints and fabric markers. It's time to set our machine up and get cracking. I'm going to start stitching around Mrs. Rabbit's head first and work my way around her body. I'm using a cream thread and I'm going to be just using a plain running stitch. So all of Mrs. Rabbit has been stitched around. I've stitched around her body, her clothes, and I've even added a bit of pattern work on her basket with the sewing machine. I'm going to now be stitching around Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. So I've finished stitching around all of the applique pieces. I've used a drawing with thread approach, a really relaxed, spontaneous stitch. But before I pack my machine away, I'm going to be sewing these little floral motif daisies around my applique scene. All of our sewing machine sewing is now complete. I've stitched around all the applique pieces and stitched on the floral motifs. They're nice and secure and I'm ready to pack away my machine and give this a good press before I add in the features with fabric paints and fabric markers. Our applique square has had a good press. I'm going to be using the guide as a reference for all of the facial features of our bunnies. I'm also going to add the handles of the baskets and the bag. I'm using my fabric markers and I've also got some fabric paints as well, which I'm going to add in using my pencil. I'm first going to mark in everything lightly with my pencil.
So I finished adding in all of the little details and features onto our applique square using the fabric paints and markers. I'm going to now let it dry and then give it a good press to seal in all of our paints. So here we have our completed Mrs. Rabbit applique square, along with Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. I did mix it up, as you can see. I changed her apron from white to the blue gingham. I've added the little daisies and a lot of fabric paint and markings. I've added details in her basket and I've also added the bow. It's a very whimsical, playful, spontaneous and quite naive in approach, but I really enjoyed making this patch. I hope you enjoyed making your Mrs. Rabbit applique square. I look forward to seeing you next time when we make the fair and square block. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.